In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus AlCl3. This is lead to nitrate plus aluminum chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. For this equation, the coefficients are 3, 2, 3, 2. And if you need help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description of this video. Once we have the balanced molecular equation, we can write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous. It's going to be a strong electrolyte, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides as well, a little aqueous. But this PbCl2, when you see lead compounds, normally we think of chlorides as very soluble. But with lead compounds, we often have insoluble compounds. In this case, lead 2 chloride is considered to be slightly soluble. It's just a little bit. And for net ionic equations, we consider that a solid. So this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Nitrates, again, very soluble. So now we have the states for each substance. We can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So lead, I can't really tell the charge on lead just by looking at lead. I have to look at what it's bonded to. The whole nitrate here is a 1 minus. I have two of them, so this is going to be 2 plus for the lead ion. So I have three of those lead ions, lead 2 ions. I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't do that now. Plus, I have two nitrates times the three, so a total of six nitrate ions. Aluminum, three plus, and the chloride ion, that'll be a 1 minus. So I have two aluminum ions, and then I have two times the three chloride ions. So I have six of those chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, when we have a solid, we don't split that apart. So it's just going to be three PbCl2. And then we said nitrates, one minus three plus for the aluminum. So I'll have two of the aluminum ions plus two times the three nitrate ions, six nitrate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't really changed, and we're not interested in them. So I can see in the reactants, I have six nitrates right here, six nitrate ions, and in the products. Just cross those out. You can see two aluminum ions, two aluminum ions. Cross them out. And then what remains this is the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus AlCl3. So I'll clean this up and add the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. You'll notice we can reduce the coefficients here. We could divide each of these by 3, and that would give us 1, 2, 1 as our coefficients. Let's do that. Since we don't write the 1s, we'll just put a 2 here. And this is our net ionic equation, a little more compact. You'll notice that charge is balanced. We have 2 plus here, and we have 2 times the 1 minus. So this here ends up with a neutral compound. We also have one lead atom on each side, two chlorines, and two chlorines. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.